dear LibreOffice conference participants, viewers, colleagues, members of the community. My name is Tim Lagaja. I am an engineer working in quality assurance. I'm a long-term LibreOffice user and a Document Foundation volunteer contributing in quality assurance. I'm presenting here some quality assurance experience for Collabor. There are different paths that help provide quality assurance. Some are done at devs, some in TDF, some in partner companies, but there are partners of use or users. Many paths lead to Gary. Here we are showing some examples of how Collabor and its partners are helping fix bugs in LibreOffice technology. Uh, there are customers of ecosystem partners which may report uh, a problem, an issue, to its own partner. Here is an example. Customer reports incompatibility between Collabor Office and Microsoft Office. Uh, after some looking into that, the issue is really about opening of rotated text and table from PPTX document, which, after again looking into the history, was fixed in LibreOffice 5.4, but regressed in 7.3. Uh, Collabora fixed that issue in 7.6 and backport backported it. There was a small glitch went wrong, went wrong again, but it was again fixed soon with more fixes for saving it in PPTX in 7.6. So what happens here is that uh, LibreOffice does not support natively this issue, but uh, now it supports opening and keeping of that attribute for, for PPTX document. During the course of this solving this issue, some similar bug reports were checked for vertical text and table shape and so on. It turned out that different cases are already reported in Bugzilla. So it's only missing is only to, to fix them. Another example of when customers of, of those ecosystem partners are reporting the issue is that uh, users were complaining that something is wrong, that all data is lost. Uh, it happened during the column width change because it was accepting invalid input and users complained that, that there is a sheet corruption and all data is lost. It turned out, after an, of course an analysis, that wrong inputs were possible even from open office. But the corruption started from 6.1 and there was no undo to fix it. So it was really annoying if somebody fell into that trap. Collabora reported that to Bugzilla and uh, the developer fixed it, fixed it there in, in LibreOffice. Collabora just, to, just had to additionally fix it in online part. Another example is that uh, when users complained that, uh, when, that they prepare a document according to their needs, but then when they open it, that it again contains the wrong font and all the time like that. It turned out that it's very old ticket with duplicates and the bug was inherited from open office. Uh, recently Collabora fixed it this year for LibreOffice 24.2 but also backported it to, to, to previous versions. Another set of uh, possibilities how to fix bugs and to collaborate really and to work together is when there are clients of customers of ecosystem partners. Like it's, it's another 
tire here where there is a user who uses in this case Calabara online who sees a bug but reports this to, to his or her own support company here is an example that it might be like a Zama ticketing system or something else that company determines that it's not a problem of their own uh, software it's a it's an issue it's an external issue in this way it's it's really online issue and ask its own support uh, by submitting let's say uh, let's say ticket in OTRS then when it comes to Collabora it triages the issue let's assume that it's done in, in some other software called Fabricator and first it does is determines if it's online or core issue of course core here refers to LibreOffice technology unquote if it's core issue then Collabora may create a ticket in Bugzilla for examples like uh, regression or for some larger issues or when a discussion is needed so on. it doesn't have to it may contribute uh, commits directly to Garrett uh, what happens there is that uh, a rule of thumb of, of, of Collabora is to also contribute it back to LibreOffice Master so all the development done then again stays there uh, as uh, open source software already in, in Master so what happens here users see a problem they have it may be a problem with a file which makes sense and they report it like that but when it comes to Bugzilla Bugzilla is issue based not document based if there are multiple issues with the same document there should be multiple tickets of course after searching for possible duplicates that's, that's really important so there may be multiple issues in online in LibreOffice kit in core in different LibreOffice versions troubled fixes regressions and so on sometimes it may happen as explained before that the issue is in uh, open XML but the feature is even not uh, supported in, in LibreOffice so there might be a solution there with keeping at attributes So let's see some examples of, of this multi-tire bug reporting. Client says document has issues, we have a problem with it. Then analysis shows three issues. First it fails to open, giving some error. Then uh, it, with, uh, with some tests it turns out that it's regression and some ad it's bisected. Uh, and turned out that there is a fixing commit in 7.4 which need backport okay it, it was nice then the next following issue is that out of 117 pages it LibreOffice loads only 34 which is a nasty nasty regression in 7.4 which was bisected and uh, soon fixed by a dev in 7.4.7 which is nice for all users of LibreOffice then there is a third there was a third issue like uh, contents of comments are missing after table of contents uh, Collabora reported it uh, it turned out that it was regression dissected it and fixed it so everything was done so with that and everything else the whole document looked now document looked nice <laughs> uh, following the examples of the same multi-tire bug reporting is this user says I cannot work with this kind of Excel worksheets even though they are small of one megabit size it's extremely slow and unresponsive both during the loading and during the scroll of the page so with the help of some profiling and frame graph it turns out it has a few issues some are in online but the biggest ones and the most important ones are in core multiple fixes help really make it smooth and uh, later on in unrelated ticket when checked it turned out that it was fixed and uh, 
in this case it wasn't resected the right person was called right person called Kaolan and uh, it turned out that is one of his fixes uh, that when uh, XLS uh, XLS X is uh, opened with a large number of comments here 40,000 com plus comments its speed opening speed uh, opening time went from 180 seconds to 10 or 20 seconds depending on the machine so it's really no noticeable performance improvement then there is another type of of, of uh, closing bugs and working on bugs it's not like a simple thing that can be fixed when one commit even even with few commits but it's it's really large work that uh, requires a lot of commits a lot of fixes one of the biggest in this year in ex is example of of docx opening of floating table multi-page floating table that annoyed many users so originally there were 14 duplicate bug reports uh, uh, after Miklos fixed some of these he continued and uh, the following set of 50 plus commits covered 14 other previous bug reports and uh, five newly found issues uh, I saw that some tickets were closed that worked for me without reverse BVSEC so it may be even even more uh, there is a third now part of fixing with seven commits in the, at the time of recording this presentation so with all this it seems like the most duplicated set of issue I saw in Bugzilla counted 38 tickets uh, the most the biggest number of duplicates according to Bugzilla report I saw duplicates were 34 and uh, there is that report I think it's updated I think regularly so this would be very huge a uh, large chunk of fixes and fixing of, of a long-term issue something annoying users for 10 years but that really arises here a question how is open source development done in a bulk? How can a large feature be done? Well, there might be some other ways, but the, the real realistic way and the one done he here is that it was a feature request, a large feature request from a customer. There are here also other, some other ways, different ways of contributing to triage of development. For example, when someone out of not even working, working or not, on the issue uh, searches and cleans many tickets and makes a lot of duplicates. Here is an example of when Mike did it. <laughs> it's really a number of tickets. Of course, I saw also Justin doing it very frequently. And then there is another type, totally another type of, of development is when while always checking and working on master you see some uh, the, the, the sheer number the sheer quantity of, of, of checking uh, makes you discover different things like here crash on load it's it's a uh, collaborator reported with a sample on bisect and the dev fixed it in two days or another crash on, on in calc which already was in in production in 755 which seemed very stable but then with the help of sample of bisect and a dev uh, it was fixed the same day and and uh, backported to 756 and there is a there was example of crashings uh, in, in gtk3 it turned out that uh, it's not a simple thing to do but uh, very soon in two days it was it was reverted until the better solution is provided so I cannot thank enough to all those folks here to the mentioned ones or to Jim or Laszlo or Kaula working on all this but there is speaking of the ways how how TDF attracts developers and other folks 
to contribute to Bugzilla, there is one, there is a special way of like organizing LibreCon, LibreOffice conference, and inviting uh, people to present there. So while preparing for a presentation, just today, I either dissected open two bags, closed or tested three, encountered on or opened two, what can I say, just no animals were harmed during the, the present, preparing of presentation, recording of video. Uh, let me, in two closing slides, just uh, give some overview of liberal of technology. Uh, there are various, of course, products based on liberal technology, like online and uh, Office from LibreOffice or Collabora and apps from LibreOffice or Collabora. What's important here is that uh, tech savvy users should always check and see if the bug exists in LibreOffice. That's the first step ever. If it exists, fine, then you simply track it or, 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 or CC yourself or whatever, if not create. Only if it doesn't exist, then, then the Collabora bugs should be reported at GitHub, so it's second step. There is a small difference with the mobile apps. Uh, Collabora apps uh, is different in technology from LibreOffice Viewer. So Collabora mobile apps should be reported to GitHub and LibreOffice Viewer bugs to Bugzilla. Just wanted to clarify this as I saw, of course, uh, some colleagues from the community not differentiating all, all those things. And speaking about that, uh, there is a fresh, there are fresh Collabora mobile apps. The, la the previous one was 21.11, the current one is 23.05, uh, but just recently uh, released in September uh, 2023, so it's really fresh new. I want invite you to, to test it. Uh, after the presentation, maybe I would like to conclude uh, with uh, speaking about the enterprise use of, of LibreOffice. So the classic approach is to use, to, to have a uh, conservative use of steel branch, but uh, for even bigger companies and more serious companies or for different reasons, different other reasons like uh, subscription that would make additional fixes and new development. Uh, there are uh, enterprise supported versions of LibreOffice like the Collabora Office, which has backports of fixes uh, from a fresh branch or master with the support and uh, with the assessment of which, which back, backports can be maybe troubled. So not, not all is, is backported. And with that, there is a uh, Collabora Office 2205, which is based on LibreOffice 7.3, uh, which has uh, different like subversions of how, how throughout time it changes. Current Collabora Office 2305 is based on LibreOffice 7.5. What's important here to say is that uh, it also gets as a stable version some features from the following version which at that time 2305 was not stable like 7.6 okay thank you for listening and watching this one uh, Timur is also my name is Bagzilla so I hope you to see you there or see you somewhere else thank you and goodbye